What is up, party people? It is your boy with another amp video. We're talking Ampera today. So if you've been watching the channel, I've been making a couple of videos about Ampera and letters of credit. So let's continue with that. I know that there's, you know, there's a fudster. We, we have a character on our channel called Raisin, a.k.a. The Dick. Raisin is a fictional character, but, you know, we got to have fudsters. You know, to, to mix things up a little bit, to make things interesting. So Raisin has proposed a theory that the Ampera Foundation is all about creating a DeFi gift card. And if you watched the previous video, then you guys know already that I say, hey, people who accept the Ampera's protocol are able to do transactions, probably the cheapest way, but I said that is probably not going to be the only way transactions occur. And I said, there's a good chance that Ampera Foundation is talking with other people, with other banks. You know, we, we talked about how in Brazil, they are probably going to integrate with companies that are already in the PIC system. And if Ampera hasn't already done it and they want to, all they have to do is open a bank account. And then they are a part of the PIC system because they'll be given a PIC's ID. But one of the things I had mentioned previously is that Ampera Foundation may be talking with banks already. So if you guys follow me on X, previously Twitter, I posted a picture of Voltron. And when I first saw it, it caught my attention. You know, it's like, hey, Voltron. And I looked it up. I was like, you know what? The origins of the name are similar. Why they picked Voltron and why I picked Voltron. Similar story, you know, but just coincidence that they happen to be called Voltron. So there was a blockchain. The blockchain still exists. The blockchain was once called the, blo the Voltron blockchain. And the idea here is that banks have gotten together to try to modernize the way trade fire occurs you know because at the way it's happening now it's old-fashioned a lot of paperwork a lot of middlemen so things take a long time to process and they want to modernize it they want to start digitizing everything ultimately the voltron blockchain got rebranded to contour but it still exists a lot of these banks are trying to bring TradeFi into the 21st centuries. And I heard rumors that Ampera Foundation has been working with Contour and that they may have tried a pilot program somewhere between Singapore and the Netherlands to see if everything would go smooth, cope aesthetic. So if there are truths to this rumor, then Ampera Foundation is working, as we said in the previous videos, to make digital letters of credit a possibility, not just with people who accept the Ampera protocol, pretty much anyone who has a bank account. Until next time, guys, peace out.